Hey, security admins, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's connect to a remote server using SSH over Tor. The first thing you must do is install Tor. You'll need to do this on both the client and the server. So log in and run the following command on each. sudo apt-get install tor-y. We need to add a couple of configuration options to the default Tor configuration file. Log into the server you'll be connecting to and issue the command sudo nano slash etsy slash tor slash tor rc. At the bottom of the file add the following. Hidden service dir slash var slash lib slash tor slash other underscore hidden underscore service slash hidden service port 22. Save and close the file. Restart tor with the command sudo system control restart tor. The restarting of Tor will generate all the necessary files within slash var slash lib slash tor slash other underscore hidden underscore service. In that directory will be the host name you'll need to use to connect to the server from the remote client. To find out that host name, issue the command sudo cat slash var slash lib slash tor slash other underscore hidden underscore service slash host name. You should see a string of characters followed by dot .onion. Head over to your client, where you've also installed Tor. In order to connect to the server, you'll use the host name provided by the cat command from above. So to make the connection, you'd issue the command torify ssh user at hostname, where user is a remote user and hostname is the hostname provided by Tor. You'll be prompted for your remote user password or SSH key authentication passphrase and be allowed entry to the server. If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.